Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate which is heavily guarded. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. House of inebriation? Count me the hell in! Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. All of them trying to eat you, I wager. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign. But that just seemed to worry people. Like they were advertising something wasn't working. Why would the Golden City need suggestions for improvement? It's really so people can feel heard. Everyone's got something to complain about, you know? They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? I don't know how else people are supposed to complain about things they can't change, but that's not the point. If things are broken here, of all places, then... I'm starting to think there ain't a hope left in this colony. Things have kept on running this long, right? Or so I used to think. The whole episode made me wonder. If they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. I can hit that mechanical down there. You'll get in trouble. Anti-crayon, antibiotic.
Incoming! Confession now! Go. Go! That one's done for! How did you get in here? You! You just slaughtered those guards, and for what? To speak with me? What could possibly be so urgent? 
Minister Clark, what a remarkable honor it is to meet you. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. What is this system coming to when even the Earth Minister is disillusioned beyond hope? Will that be all, then? Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless... Of course, of course! It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. He's attempting to game the system. But he won't be able to get away with it forever. Eventually. I dearly hope so. And you might be part of the equation. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. How should I know? I've been under house arrest for years. But there is a way to find out. And perhaps to set things right. Whatever Rockwell's doing, He'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. Captain, we must investigate Rockwell. An injustice like this... Indeed, it cannot. I can't overstate the urgency of the matter. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. And fix it we must. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Via the Acropolis District, of course. That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. They're rather... dirty. There are also rumors of sprat infestations, faulty auto mechanicals, and other unsavory hazards, if that sort of thing bothers you. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. Obviously, the chairman surrounds himself with the cream of Byzantium's elite. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. Putting your faith in the inherent goodness of mankind? The Earth Directorate is our best hope. Even Rockwell's resources are no match. And it is hardly in their interest to let Halcyon... 
depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck, and trust no one in the Acropolis district. I learned in prison.
May you find peace in death. Our victory is their defeat. Could dismantle a single room of this place, sell the materials, and feed everyone on Monarch for a month. Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read, will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. That was some quite distressing information. Guess the whole colony's up a creek. I thought it was just Monarch. Could I?
life was merely an illusion anyway. Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? That's right, you weren't here when it happened. Some UDL officers took him into custody. Wanted posters. Anger a man of the cloth. I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157. That batch failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the tech to run the trial again. And the results were zero. Let the record show that subject 23K's cause of death. Prisoners allowed, citizen. I'm gonna to need to see some identification. What? I don't need to see your identification. Move along.
This area is for authorized personnel only. You're not supposed to be here, are you? I guess that's what I was wondering. When you put it that way, it does sound pretty unlikely. Still, you should go. I don't think the other guards will be... There's something weighing on my mind. Trespassing in the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is punishable by death. You've got one chance to explain why I shouldn't blow you away right now. Not a chance. Incoming! <laughs> Life was merely an illusion anyway.
If you don't, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. You are making a serious mistake. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I continue? Step ahead. 
ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra II. And that's going to work, without killing us in the process. I thought intrasystem micro-jumps were prohibited for a reason. Yes, yes, there's always a risk of a catastrophic collision between the hope and, say, Terra II, in theory. But you'll be fine, provided your calculations are correct. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the Unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Certainly. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Unlikely. The hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the Rings of Terra II, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to... I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Certainly.